Hey guys, Sam from Baller Barbecue here, and this week I'm making some beef short ribs on my Pit Boss pellet grill. So let's get into it. So first we'll make the rub uh, in a small bowl or a shaker if you've got one. We want to add three tablespoons of pepper. One tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of onion powder. Two teaspoons of mustard powder. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. And then put the lid on your shaker and give it a shake. Make sure that rub's all mixed up and then we'll put it aside. So now on to our ribs. You can tell these are short ribs because all that meat is on top of those ribs. A little bit of fat in there which will cut out that hard stuff but all the marbled fat will keep in there. The first step is pulling this membrane off. Now you can leave this on, I prefer not to. Um, it kind of dries and it goes quite tough and papery so we'll just take a paper towel and pull that off using the paper towel just helps grip it otherwise it is quite slippery but if you can get a good hold of it it should all just come off in one big pull there it is you can see how papery that membrane is so just take it off Okay, so now we're just going to inspect it for like bits of bone that are just sort of cut off and any of this hard fat. We'll just cut all that off and that entire fat cap we're going to take off as well. If we left that fat cap on, we wouldn't be able to get the spices or the smoke into the meat. It's just going to be like a barrier on top there, so we don't want that. So we'll just take it off. So once that cap is off, we can just tidy it up a bit, cutting any bits that got left behind off. So this fat's just not going to render and it's just going to stay hard and horrible. So just get rid of it all. Cut that off. And this bit over here, cut that off as well. cut these bits off the edge now there's these big bits which are on the end and they're kind of I'll show you here. They're kind of inside the like the layers of meat. So we just cut it all out. You can see it there. It's pretty pretty big and gnarly looking. So it might lose a little bit of meat just cutting that out, but it's better to have it out. Alright, there's just a little bit more here I'll cut out, but a lot of this fat in here is quite soft and it will render while the uh, while the ribs smoke, but that bit, that's not, 
So we'll get rid of that, but that's looking pretty good. So now you can see there's not much fat. There is a little bit of fat in the middle there, but that's fine. That will render and make these really juicy. Bit of a hole where I cut that hard stuff out, but it's all good. So I'm going to use some sriracha just as a bit of a binder to help the rub stick to the ribs. So we'll just go ahead and pour that on, just a little bit, and rub it on. Get it into all the nooks and crannies on the sides or on around the ends. Make sure you get everything on the edges. We want that rub to really stick on there. Don't want it falling off while it's cooking. And actually what I think I might do with these ones is I'll cut them into individual ribs before I cook it. Uh, so I'll flip it over so I can see where those ribs are and just cut in between them. This way I can get the rub right in between each rib. Otherwise it would kind of just be on top and on the edge of two ribs. So we'll divvy it all up, get heaps of rub on there. Because this rub is just going to form a nice bark and it's going to let the, uh, the smoke kind of get into all those ribs as well. So we'll put a bit more sriracha on there, rub it in and I'll just do that for all of the ribs. I'm not going to bother putting anything on the back, any sriracha or rub, because there isn't any meat there, it's just, it's just uh, rib. Last one. Put this right drone, give it a rub. All done. So now we'll take our rub we made and just sprinkle it on. Make sure you get plenty on. Uh, the stuff with the pepper, pepper always goes good with beef. There's the garlic, onion, and a little bit of sugar in there is gonna um, help create that bark as well but it's not going to add any sweetness. So get lots of it on there, get the sides, and put it on all four ribs, and we'll just give it a pat as well, just to make sure that it doesn't fall off while it cooks. Okay, now those have got a nice thick coating of rub, we'll take them out to the grill. So here I've got my Pit Boss pellet grill set up to 110 degrees or 225 Fahrenheit and I'm using hickory pellets in there as well. Once the smoke is up to temperature, we will put the ribs straight onto the rack, put them lengthways. Get them all in there, make sure there's a gap in between each rib so the smoke can circulate and infuse. Okay, so now we'll close the grill up and we'll leave them in there to smoke for about five or six hours, but we'll check on it every couple of hours just to make sure it's okay. 
All right, so these ribs have been in here for six hours now. And I'll just test them with a thermometer just for softness, but that is just going in there. I had no resistance at all. So they're well and truly ready. But I'll just check the temperature. And that's reading about 88 degrees. So they are well and truly ready. So now we'll put them on a platter and take them inside. Looking forward to these. They look good. Alright, check these out. These look incredible. And these things smell amazing. That pepper from the rub is really good. You can smell the uh, the hickory smoke on them. But yeah, this, that uh, meat's really tender. Nice bark on there. So we might give this one a taste. Mmm, that's really good. It's uh, that pepper and garlic, really good. Nice and juicy, look at that. Yeah, you can see how juicy that is and that smoke ring, incredible. Okay, so those beef short ribs were absolutely delicious. The, the They were nice and juicy. Had a good amount of bark on there. Wasn't too too um, hot and spicy, but yeah, there's a little bit of a kick there from that sriracha and that pepper, as I said, that goes amazing with beef. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. I put out a new video every week, so turn on those notifications and you won't miss an upload. And let me know what you thought, or if you guys want me to cook anything, if there's anything you want me to show you on the channel, just let me know in the comments below and we'll see you again next time.